guys and gals for blogtowatch.com. My name is James Stacy, and today we'll be taking a look at the new Baum and Mercier Clifton Complete Calendar. This is the uh, new reference 10055. We've shown you the entire collection on the website, so be sure to check it out if you need a refresher. But this model, uh, the Complete Calendar is kind of a triple calendar display, was sort of my favorite and uh, the one I was most interested to review. Uh, luckily, uh, Baum was willing to send one over, and uh, what you see here is a 43 millimeter stainless steel case. It's 12.5 millimeters thick, including the domed sapphire crystal. 50 millimeters lug to lug, very easy to wear, even on a smaller wrist, it is a nice size. And it's a 21 millimeter lug spacing for this kind of nice black uh, gator style strap. You get this uh, lovely finishing on the uh, case sides where it mixes uh, polished and brushed elements. You will see these uh, small marks on both sides of the case. And those are the pin pusher buttons to adjust some of the features for the movement, which I'll explain in a moment. Really uh, just a lovely watch with a nice display case back that gives you a view of that movement. You get a nice polished surround. It's very comfortable on wrist thanks to these uh, hooked lugs that you see here. And uh, in every way, just a nice uh, dressy watch that should work well for uh, everyday use. So what we'll do now is we'll just take a closer look at the movement. All right, so here's a closer look of the dial on the uh, Clifton, the 10055 reference. Uh, what you can see, of course, here is the triple date display. So you get two small windows just below the name on the dial. On the left, you have what's clearly saying Wednesday, and that's uh, your day display on the right, April, your month. And then down here, you have a day or a date pointer hand makes a 31 step rotation of the dial so that has to be adjusted at the end of months with less than 31 days. Um, all adjustments are made using these pin pusher buttons on the case side and that includes adjusting the moon phase display. I, the only one I could see being troublesome is the moon phase uh, if you always wanted it to be accurate and uh, as long as you kept the watch running once it was set accurately a moon phase is a very accurate complication to begin with so it really shouldn't be too much of an issue and uh, I certainly enjoyed having the triple date display is it a highly functional display is it you know a tool display no not at all the complication is more for ornamentation and uh, I think it gives the watch a very traditional feeling and one that I really like uh, I like very much uh, now the movement supporting all of these appears to be a base Salita SW300 automatic with a uh, Dubois de Pre 9000 calendar module added on. They don't say that specifically on their site, but that is a, does appear to be what the uh, movement that is running. Has a nice strong power reserve. Timekeeping was excellent on this watch within just a few seconds every day to my measurement. So certainly an accurate watch and one that I really enjoyed to wear. So let's take a look at the uh, Clifton 10055 on wrist. So when you first go to put the Clifton on wrist, you'll notice that it uses a nice deployant clasp. This is actually really nice. Uh, lovely finishing. It is a signed clasp. It's a push button or pinch button style. So you get two buttons on the side and it releases. Just like that. Very comfortable. And I will get it out of the way now that, yes, I have this clasp on upside down. Or perhaps more accurately, the entire strap on upside down. Um, the uh, strap is in every way more comfortable with a deployant for me to wear when it's upside down like this so that the clasp fits in a, a less bony part of my wrist. The strap itself is also fantastic for the watch. It's nicely padded up here. We're at the 21 millimeter segment, tapers to 18 millimeters of the clasp. And as you can see, it's not heavily padded here. So it is very easy to put on and very easy to wear. I think it looks great. Um, I think for a watch with this dial, I would prefer brown, but the black looks good and it is a very luxurious strap, very comfortable to wear. So what you're looking at here is the uh, Balm & Mercy Clifton 10055 on wrist. Really a lovely watch, doesn't ride too high. As you can see, it doesn't overpower the wrist. And it really is uh, just a kind of a nice and traditional wrist presence, one that I really like, and certainly if you like a dress watch, but you want something that's a little bit more than your basic three-hander and you don't really feel like a chronograph, I think this is an excellent option. It is worth mentioning that the dial on the Clifton Complete Calendar, the 10055 that you see here, is not silver as much as it is ever so slightly gold tone. It is a little bit warmer than you might expect if you look at some of the photos. 
Be sure to check out my photos on the review at ablogtowatch.com. Uh, the review should go live shortly after the video, and they should give you a pretty good impression of what the dial uh, coloring really is, because it isn't a pure silver, it's not like a sunburst. It's a little bit warmer, a little bit creamier at the same time. It really is lovely, a very traditional feel, and uh, one that works well for the watch. Uh, Legibility is pretty good, although I did have some quick confusion for the first couple days between the seconds hand and the date pointer hand. Uh, I guess at the very worst, it means that you have to look at this otherwise beautiful watch. Um, just a little bit longer to be able to tell the difference. It's something you get over pretty quickly. Uh, Baum & Mercier is retailing the Clifton Complete Calendar both in this version and in the 5.7, which is the blue dial with the silver markers. Also gorgeous for $4,900 US dollars. Not a lot of competition at that price point, and certainly um, an interesting watch that I would say looks more expensive than that price tag and uh, wears quite nicely, and one that I thoroughly recommend if you're looking for a fairly traditional but large dress watch. For blogtowatch.com, my name is James Stacy, and this has been my review of the Bauman Mercier Clifton Complete Calendar, reference 10055. Thanks very much for watching, and click like, and we'll keep trying to get great watches in.